Hello everyone! Blessings from the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I am Michelle Lagahe from Bugo City, Cebu, and beside me is my 8-year-old daughter, Caris Pelea. Hi! I am a grade B student. When I heard and learned about the Prayer Covenant Discipleship for Children last May 2021 from Ate Carol through Zoom meeting, I was excited to use it, but at the same time, I was worried about when can I use it for the children because at the time, I was 8 months pregnant and had all the hormonal changes and morning sicknesses and had a 2-year-old daughter to take care too. I was anxious and how, about how to manage the time and how to cater the kids with my situation. I prayed to the Lord for strength, wisdom, and guidance. The Lord led me to start with my two daughters and in our Sunday school class, which has seven kids. I was impressed by how the kids respond to what they learn. We joined the National Prayer Care Share for Kids, and they understand and memorize the meaning of the four symbols, the heart, the wide cross, and question mark. I asked my daughter Caris if she could share this too to her classmate in school. I did not force her but prayed for God to use her. One day, when she went home, smiled so wide from school, she told me that she shared the good news about Jesus to her grade 2 classmates. The teacher uttered wow and they were impressed about what she shared using the symbols. I praise the Lord for giving her the heart of an evangelist. Then, when she was in her earlier months of grade 3, she draw big the four symbols in their blackboard. All her new classmates listened as she explained to them the meaning behind the symbols, um, resulting them to clap their hands after because they were impressed. Second time also, she presented the Creation to Christ hand motions during their Christmas party program. It was attended by her classmates and their parents. Caris was able to present also the gospel using the hand motions during the Thanksgiving party of where his father worked last November 30, 2022. It was attended by more or less 300 people, including the children. All this moment happened because God made it happen. What God planted in my daughter's heart of what she learned from our prayer discipleship, he made it grow and used it also to plant the gospel to the other children's life and even adults. I feel so blessed of how the Lord orchestrated everything. It was when we felt we are incapable. It's when the Lord's hands becomes even more powerful. In our limitations, He is limitless. Truly, the kingdom of God belongs to the children and to those who have a faith like them. In the beginning, God created the perfect world. Sin broke God's perfect world. The penalty for sin is death. God's Son, Jesus, paid sin's penalty. Jesus was the only perfect man. Jesus died. Jesus was buried. Jesus rose from death to life because Jesus died for your sins. Jesus now offers you the gift of eternal life. Would you like this gift? With faith, ask Jesus to be your Savior. Go tell everyone this good news.